Hello and welcome back to the darkness. Uh, we are continuing right where we left off the last time with the acquisition of the black hole. The black hole is one of the best and most dangerous of your abilities in your arsenal, mainly due to the fact that no matter how much of it you use, because you can, if you hit the darkness ability a second time, it stops the black hole, it will drain all of your darkness level, leaving you vulnerable without your shield. So it is a very use at your own risk type of weapon. It can easily clear out a whole group of enemies, but if you leave one of them alive, it is very, very easy for that one person to kill the crap out of you. So yeah, it also of course is hurt by the fact that if you fire it in light, what'll end up happening is, is it'll cut how much of it you use, and you actually have to have the thing activated for a few seconds for it to actually kill somebody and not just do a little bit of damage to them. Luckily though, the black hole is in fact incredibly powerful, and can easily take out, like, planes. So, we'll gonna have some fun with that thing later. But yeah, you can see right there, it does a really good job of killing that one guy. What'll end up happening with the black hole that you'll notice is that once it ragdolls somebody, you'll see that their arms and legs flopping around. Nine times out of ten, it means that they're actually dead, and not just, you know, ragdolled as some games will do when they're knocked off their feet like that. It does actually usually mean that they're dead. Except if they're some of the higher tier enemies, then it means that they're not dead and they're just flopping around and ragdolling because it's hilarious to look at. Awesome scaffolding action. This area in this part to me is kind of like the World War One sections where everything kind of looks incredibly samey, so it's very easy to get lost. So, I get lost. Black hole. That there was to kind of demonstrate what I was talking about, how it always fully drains your darkness, which is kind of annoying. But hey, demon armor is still useful. But let's head on up to the Turkish Baths. These are the old Turkish baths. Schroed's secret warehouse full of stolen evidence. But I got a little birthday surprise waiting for me. Courtesy of good old Butcher Joyce. All I gotta do is get through half a legion of bank cops, find that suitcase, and bring it back to the Butcher. And that's what we're gonna do. Uh, once again, this section here <laughs> confuses the shit out of me whenever I do it because... Once again, everything looks incredibly similar. It's very easy to get lost when you're just walking around in concrete. The light blows down. Good call there, darkness. The uh, first time I played this section here, I actually got so lost. I actually had to look up a walkthrough for how to get past this one section, and it all, all it really is is the game kind of teaches you, especially once you have the deep through, that you just walk through and do this. You activate it, you break all the lights, you can have your darkness out. So what ends up happening is, is that a lot of design choices, which are you walk into an area and light kind of dictates where you're supposed to go, you kind of lose that because you're destroying all the lights, so it's kind of easy to get lost in these very cramped areas. Or, you know... I go left instead of right. So this whole section here is just to grab that one number, which we don't need. So let's head on back and have an incredibly awkward cut where I jump ahead, getting more lost. I have to respawn this kamikaze, of course. Look out! <laughs> I like how he says look out. Like, what, what's going to happen? That... Broken wall's gonna fall on me? Nope, we just gotta poke it. And now we're gonna get our final weapon tier of the game, pretty much. Which is the assault rifles. These are very useful, they're highly accurate, high damaging, and we're gonna be using them a fair amount. We're going to be getting a second one of these, and our final actual gun, later. But for right now, that's all we have. Let's listen to some talking. No, 
Well, you're thinking about the one by the roof hatch. This one's never squealed by itself. Well, then what the hell is wrong with it? And that's enough talking. Let's use a black hole. This section here is incredibly difficult to get through your first time, mainly because you're learning about how to use the black hole. It's very useful in this area because all of these guys have assault rifles. <laughs> that guy's on fire. So you want to use those two black holes in the positions I just showed off. There's still a dude up there who's going to be kicking my ass if I'm not careful, and in alternate timelines, he has. There's also two guys behind you here, and you got to be very careful because it's all very well lit, so a lot of light management as well. Try to use the darkness guns here a little bit just because I mentioned that I was going to use them a bunch. And... Yeah, black hole's much better. <laughs> Although it worked really well there. So, gotta give the guns credit. They do their job really well. More black holes. Those two guys, if they get entrenched, are fairly difficult to deal with. Oh, the nice thing I forgot to mention about ending the black hole yourself is that it detonates so if there's enemies nearby who are kind of holding on to railings and whatnot so they don't get pulled into the black hole you can easily detonate and kill them or you know if you are getting assaulted you can very easily fall back but it's one of those weird things where having it activated is actually a little better because you actually have your darkness shield out it's going down but it's activated. The moment you detonate it is the when you lose it. And uh, I talked over getting another weapon, which is an M16, as you can see right there. We're going to be getting more of those than AK-47s. So they're slightly less damaging, almost a no little bit, no you can notice it a bit, but you're throwing enough bullets at an enemy that you're really not going to notice because, you know, they're squishy. Oh, they're fighting. We're getting closer to their level, though. Yeah, the pistols and the submachine guns are still some of the best weapons that you have. That, and of course, you know, gutter darklings. Let's use the black hole to its fullest potential here. There's at least three dudes in there, and it also took out a light as well, which is nice, but- Oh, it didn't kill that guy! There! Using the black hole almost killed us, but luckily we actually had a little bit of darkness, because we were standing in the dark for a little while, just without the actual darkness out. Yeah, let's use the creepy dark for once. The bodies are in the way. As is the destroyed pipe. Come on. Just stop hiding that guy's crotch. There we go. Oh, holy fucking shit. This guy can see around, around corners. There we go. All the hearts. Now this section here, if you don't know what's coming, is actually a fairly tough section because they kind of kind of get rushed with um, high-end weapons. Just throw a black hole in there and bam, they're dead. There you go. Easy. I remember having trouble on this earlier, so I'm like, is there another guy? Nope, just, just a phone number. Ready to see the last weapon in the game? It's in here. Or one of the last weapons, actually. It's on the shelf, and it's a jackhammer shotgun. Awesome. It's an automatic, barrel-fed shotgun. It's really good ex against the heavily armored dudes. So, yeah. Good times. But yeah. Actually, we do have all the guns. You can see they're all up there on the top. So, we're good now. 
after eat some hearts. It is pretty fun to watch them eat. Let's grab this suitcase and, you know, casually walk out because what could possibly go wrong? There he is. Now, this section here is pretty rough. What you really want to do is try to get rid of these guys as they jump down. If you kill the dudes who repel in very quickly, they're not going to spread out and start attacking you on multiple levels. But the difficult part is you have to take out that helicopter. Shooting it up high enough so that it actually hits the helicopter is actually fairly difficult. I think one more ought to do it. That line there says you're actually hitting him, because he. Well, I don't think he says that unless you're actually getting damage on him. But sometimes it's really hard to tell if you're actually hitting him. It also doesn't help that this area is filled with enemies. Yeah. There it is. The fucker got me. I'll see you in hell. Yeah, yeah. If you actually look up while he's like they're crashing, they'll still shoot you, and I've actually died doing that. It's not fun. So let's clear out this area. I think there's one or two other heavy hitter guys, so that's why I still have the high tier shotgun out. It's very useful. Other than the fact that for some reason we got barricaded in, and now we're trying to just go here. here. Get over it. Here we go. Much better than our normal shotgun. Just gotta be careful though. You don't get a, you do not get a lot of ammo for that shotgun. And somehow there's guys in the top levels have spawned in. So, let's use our AK to try to kill them. But you know what? We have the black hole, which is much easier for killing them with. Now, the black hole is incredibly useful for killing these enemies, our shielded guys. It one almost one hit kills them. If you drop the shield on them or in front of them, it rips the shields off then kills them. It's incredibly useful when you're fighting your way out because you're fighting a lot of these shield guys. If you pop it behind them, it will always kill them as well. So, just a good idea to throw black holes all over the place. And also eat their hearts too. But they've decided to make barricades out of stuff, which makes it very difficult to move around. There we go. Getting a little lost again. <laughs> they're like, no, no, went the wrong way. There we go. We are getting close. Uh, 
now, uh, my original time playing through, I always got jumped by uh, that last group. Killed me a few times. Sometimes there's also a guy there on the staircase on the higher difficulties. Now, I know a thing or two about ambushes, having set up most of Paulie's business in that regard for years. So I know when I'm about to be on the receiving end. Eddie's boys are gonna be out here intent on blowing my brains out. These fucking morons must think I was born yesterday. You like that crazy homeless guy? Say hello to him again. Man, I don't know who you pissed off, but you did a fine job. Oh no! Hey, hey, hey! Take those away! Listen up. The Val and Company are into some serious shit. Believe me. You do not want to get on his bad side. Listen, are you ignoring me on purpose? Yes, I am. Because you've already heard him say that before. So yeah, uh, the rest of this part has really easy and really difficult parts. Pretty much right now they're waiting to ambush me. And there are a few ambushes in this section, and they're all very tough. But luckily... With copious of usage of uh, our new weapons and our new darkness ability, you can get through it decently easy. Doesn't mean it's still not very difficult. It's also not a good sign when they give you two Darkling spawns right next to each other. Bring out the big guns. Let's do this. How do you spell college? The guy that I dropped the dark, I mean the black hole on first, is a very, oops, good way of uh, taking out sometimes the light, but that guy up there will just pop off shots at you for a while and is super annoying. Either you want to drop a black hole on those spotlights or you want to shoot them like I am doing right now, just to make your life a lot easier. Didn't take out the light and shit. Or kill all the guys, that's even worse. <laughs> Again, the black hole almost getting me killed at the same time. Holy fucking See, when you got a bunch of bodies above you, dropping black hole easily brings them down to you so you can devour their hearts. Thanks, black hole! <laughs> Good thing I spawned that kamikaze. Oh, shield guy. Black hole. So that's the first of the ambushes. The easier of the few of them, just because of the fact that they're in a very easy to attack area they're all within the range of your black hole so it's very easy just to drop back away and burterize oh we've been here before went the wrong way oops but hey gave us it gives us enough time to recharge our black hole be all happy dory and getting ready to murder because murder's what jackie's good at Also, I believe we're still on the same checkpoint, so that's kind of annoying. Yep. All the hearts. Oops, there we go. 
that's a good uh, thing to do, what I did with the first guy, is you put a few rounds into them, it stumbles them, so they fold into a black hole. It's very useful. You're under arrest, for brain. By the way, we're still on the same checkpoint. That's a lot of dudes tumbling around. And now, see, we just hit another checkpoint here. That little stretch is very difficult because there's a lot of enemies in there with high tier weapons and if you do not know that they're coming it is incredibly easy to die just making sure i got all the hearts which i did now this one here is a little easier that we're about to do but there's one big problem with it about to bump into here in a second. We're on a curved hallway that we really can't reach with our black hole. You can see that's the limit of how far it can go. So this ends up being mostly a gunfight, unless you rush it and you throw a black hole on it. it. Mainly does not help the fact that that guy over there is a shield guy, and he's surrounded by other enemies with higher tier weapons. This is actually a fairly difficult section here, but in the end, just popping shots off of their feet makes him die super easy. <laughs> I had to replay this entire chapter because my recording fucked up for the ending. So I had to replay this section here. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. But what ends up happening is, is um, if you immediately rush this area and just throw in a black hole behind all these guys, kind of like that, you can actually kill most of them and almost get a certain achievement, which will be harder in the game, which is to kill five enemies with a single black hole. There's only a few sections of the game where you can actually pull that off. One of them being one of the uh, side missions in this chapter, where there's a whole bunch of enemies in a very small area. But enough of me babbling. We have some talking to do, once I decide to move. Fight fire with fire. That's what I always say. My Uncle Paul, he always goes for the spectacular when he's breaking somebody's balls. But let's see how he likes it when I do the same to his main man, Eddie. Human flesh. Is it where you are? Kind of a strange thing for the darkness to say. But we got a phone call to make. Actually, no, we don't have a phone call to make. We have a dude to meet up with, then a phone call to make, then a side quest to finish. Well, you stirred up a hornet's nest, Jackie. Make no mistake. Your Uncle Paulie had big plans for that briefcase. I'd imagine they'd be calling any second now. But first, I'm gonna put a bomb in that suitcase. Okay. now, Jackie. You decide when and where you meet Eddie. Just be careful. He didn't get this far in life by being stupid. Hmm? I love the way that the pager kind of pops up. You can see it, but let's go all the way upstairs because down here, the music's going to break in, and these guys decide just to not get out of my way completely. There we go. So let's go upstairs where it's nice and quiet. Do a little phone call. You fucking piece of shit. Do you know what you've done? I got 20 pissed off people from East Coast to West because of you. 
I want that fucking briefcase back. Where are you? Wow, Eddie. I didn't know you cared. Don't push your luck, Estacado. I am warning you. And don't call me Eddie. What? You're gonna kill me? I'm shaken. Oh, I can do worse, Jackie. I seem to recall your lady friend's face exploding. Just tell me a place. Trinity Church. Bring 50 grand and unlock bills and come alone. Okay, cool. We have our objective for the rest of this chapter, which is to go meet a meta church. But since we did this entire side quest in the last two videos, you know, killing the guy that gave us the black hole, let's go talk to his brother before we head out. Say, did you see my brother? Well, I saw him, but I think he's kind of reluctant to meet up with you. He's got serious people problems. Oh, my brother Ernie's always been the family freak. Hey, but thanks for trying. Here. Hooray! We got a phone number. Those are always great to get. Used to be the only person I cared about was you. Now? The only person I care about is Eddie Schrote. Him and my Uncle Paulie. You just hang in there, Eddie. I didn't forget about you. Okay, here we are. Let's go head on over to Trinity Church. Just that way. <laughs> Not much to do here other than to walk over there. But, uh... So, yeah, this has been a fairly interesting chapter. We have, you know, attacked a police station, murdered a ton of cops, fought in a bath area, old Turkish baths, and uh, met a bunch of crazy homeless people. It's been a very eventful day for Jackie. Now, we're going to fight in a church and have some great music. Luck isn't just luck. It's preparation meets opportunity. Well, I got my opportunity. Jury's out on whether or not I'm really prepared. One thing I know for sure, this is my path to the men who killed you. There's no way in hell anyone can stop me from paying them back for what they did. That's probably some of the best acting that Jackie has had in those intermediary sections. Kind of sad to say that, though. I, I think I just figured it out. No. Welcome back to the church where we first got the darkness. It's kind of nice to be back. Oh yeah, at the end of this, I'm going to show off that there's actually Jenny's grave is here and there's a little reaction that the darkness has to it. You can't control the darkness. Here in no man's land. You gotta work out how to get back. Don't get any ideas now, Jackie. The trenches. See, they weren't inside my mind. I was inside the mind of the darkness. That's where it's vulnerable. It's where I gotta go back. That means I gotta top myself again, but this time, I'm gonna take Eddie fucking Schrode along with me for a ride. Why this place? Filthy church. Nope. This door. Well, I see you came alone. I know you keep your word, Jackie boy. And I see you brought my stuff, just like you promised. Go ahead. Put it on the altar. Nice... <laughs> Shit's about to get real, as you can tell. Yeah, that's what I love about criminals. You can always be relied on to make the dumbest mistakes possible. Like they trained you to do on command. 
Kendall, turn off the lights. See you, asshole. Yeah, turn off the lights, and the guy you can have superpowers in the darkness. Okay, this fight here is one of the most difficult in the game. You are swarmed by enemies on all sides. Your best bet is to use the black hole, which leaves you vulnerable. So you gotta be very judicious in your usage of it. You do need to spawn a Darkling just so he can pull some of the enemy fire for you. And you gotta be really fast. And the moment you're getting hit, you gotta take cover, get your darkness level back. It's just a lot of management. Ah, really close there. A certain person who's currently talking may in fact have an hour of trying to do this one section. But yeah, it's tough. Turn the damn blood lights on! You can't do that shit in the light! Don't there we go. You can be very careful. Whichever side you're on, you want to immediately kill the floodlights so they're not flooding you on that side. So, then you just gotta worry about the dudes. No more floodlights. Ah, fucked up that placement. Oh, it still killed them, though, at least. Okay, well, we are almost done with this fight here, so I'm just going to say the rest of it's going to be a lot of talking, so I'm going to let the game speak for itself, and I will definitely see you guys next time. You think you can get away with this, Jackie? Killing my people like they're nothing. I bet you feel like a tough guy full of those tricks in the dark. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out your weakness. Welcome back to the land of the living. But don't get used to it. Okay. Now, tell me. Who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's baths? Oh, what's the matter? Helpless without that screwy shit you've been pulling in the darkness? Too light here, isn't it? <laughs> You're mine now. Ah, uh, let's get creative. You don't have to talk. I'm gonna have fun either way. Go give me that power drill. Sure thing, Eddie. It ain't Eddie, you fucking moron! It's Captain Shrope! Ah, oh, shit, sorry. Sure thing, Captain Shrope. Now, I'm gonna tell you how this works. You tell me who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's baths. You tell me who saw the briefcase. 
You play ball and you die quickly. Otherwise, you get little holes drilled in the pain centers of your brain. And believe me, I've done this work before. You may think you're a tough kid, but you don't want to go that second route. You know, you made Polly real nervous. How the little turd is so paranoid, I gotta keep him in a safe place until the heat dies down. Now say your prayers. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at... Oh, Mother of God, that's a good one, boss. I mean, considering the shipment we got coming in. Well, don't tell him, you stupid shit! What's the difference? Who's he gonna tell? Won't make any difference if he knows about the... You said we was gonna waste him. Oh, yeah. We're gonna waste him. And if you say one more word about Mother of God, right. we're gonna waste you next! Easy. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Now then, you may feel a little discomfort. Fuck, shit! God damn it! You're plugging it all the way over there! Jesus Christ, God damn it! I'll do it myself. <laughs> no plan, no fucking forethought. Always gotta fix every little goddamn thing myself, just like fucking usual. Fucking blabbermouth guys, no common sense, no respect. Talk about all that later. Yeah. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Chinese piece of shit. <laughs> Keep licking Eddie's ass, you cunts. Polish his sweet fuck crack. Boy, you sure did put the cat among the pigeons, Estacado. You know what I'm saying? That means you fucked everything up. Why? Now we gotta do what we gotta do. You. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Hit it. Yes, darkness. You fucking hilarious. You think fuckface A could ever make me talk? Mmm. Manny messed up your face. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes, boy. You know. When Eddie gets that drill fixed, this'll look pretty cute in comparison. I grow strong. You'll die before you realize what I'm up to. I've seen a man die of shock one time before the drill even touched his skull. Lucky son of a bitch. Display your power. Come over here. Light some of my eyes. I need some shade. You caused us a lot of trouble, Estacado. You know how long it's gonna take to repair all that damage you've done? Ah, dark bliss. You realize no one's getting out of this alive, right? You know, Estacado, I never did like Paulie Franchetti. If I didn't have to kill you, I'd buy you a drink for what you did. No, stupid puppet! And that... That was the second time I died.
Las Vueltas.